We've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. The cure! We need the cure! This machine is rigged! We're looking into a picture going around online this month. It claims to show a screenshot of a 2002 episode of The Simpsons that eerily mirrors real life events. We Americans love Queen, be they homecoming or dairy. This woman, however, is an imposter! Shepard Smith at CNBC Global Headquarters, we interrupt ro regular programming to announce that the Royal Palace has just informed Great Britain's Queen Elizabeth II has died. Oh, looks like our birdhouse is benefiting from positive word of peace. <gasps> Brace yourselves, family. We're about to meet a being with intelligence far beyond ours. Hello, I'm Elon Musk. Die! What the? The world's richest man is now promising a Twitter makeover, renaming his own account Chief Twit and proclaiming the bird is free. Please don't tell the supervisor I have the flu. <coughs> that new prediction comes as new infections of 19 are exploding nationwide. Now over to Arnie Pie with Arnie in the Sky. Round 401 is going around and around and around. Good afternoon from New York. We're coming on the air with breaking news that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. A lot of people say you guys predicted Trump's run. I, I know. We'll take credit for anything. <laughs> Simpsons predicted the future shot by shot because we're part of the Illuminati, <laughs> which is true. We are. We've witnessed deep divisions and a troubling rancor in our land. But tonight, we ponder the United States. Hello, I'm Tom Hanks. The US government has lost its credibility, so it's borrowing some of mine. To immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. It's a big statement. The wars of the future will not be fought on a battlefield or at sea. They will be fought in space. Most of the actual fighting will be done by small robots. I understand what's going on in the market. Uh, this is not going to end well when it ends. And the bigger question is, when does it end? I don't think it ends soon, but I think it will end, and it will end very badly for the public. Martin, here's ten dollars to invest in the futures market. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry! Martin, you're up one million dollars. Yes. Now you've lost all but $600. You got greedy, Martin. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. My administration will focus on the three R's. Reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. One. Trump's presidency. The Simpsons predicted Donald Trump's presidency in a 2000 episode titled Bart to the Future. The episode features a future where Lisa Simpson becomes president after Trump. 2. North Carolina State versus Duke in NCADA tournament. In a 2015 episode, The Simpsons seemingly predicted North Carolina State playing Duke in the NCADA tournament on March 31st. The scene features Homer wearing a Duke shirt and holding an NC State pennant. You did it, Homie! And what a march it was! A beautiful Easter, a sober St. Patrick's Day, and impeccable behavior watching the NCAA basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. Three, Willy Wonka experience disaster. The Simpsons predicted a disastrous event similar to the recent Willy Wonka-themed experience 31 years ago. In a 1993 episode, the show featured a plot that closely resembled the chaos reported at the real-life event. And this is just the beginning. I've got a big plan. It smells funny in there. No, it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Our foreign exchange student, Uter, has chosen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I... But this is just an empty box. I begged you to look at mine first. 
expect you. Four, Apple Vision Pro fans noted that The Simpsons seemingly predicted the Apple Vision Pro in a past episode. The episode showcased a futuristic device similar to the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> Ah. Escuela de Medicina de Harvard, John Hopkins. Five, Lady Gaga's Super Bowl performance. In a 2012 episode, Lady Gaga is depicted performing a halftime show where she descends from the stadium roof which she later replicated during her actual Super Bowl performance in 2017. Lady Gaga get her inspiration for her Super Bowl halftime show from, of all things, The Simpsons. With uncanny accuracy, four years ago, the show actually predicted she'd fly through the air. Just look at the similarities from the 2012 episode. Gaga flies over concert goers, just like the real Gaga flew over football fans Sunday night. And look at the outfits. Gaga wore boots with her Versace costume, just like her Simpsons character. Six, Nobel Prize winner. A 2010 episode showed Milhouse betting that Finnish economist Bengt R. Holmström would win the Nobel Prize in economics. Holmström won the prize in 2016. Seven, Biden-Harris presidency. A 2019 clip seemed to predict Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's joint candidacy, showcasing the show's knack for political foresight. Excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. <laughs> Helen? Wasn't I wearing a hat? Yes, yes you were. Now in conclusion, my administration will focus on the three R's. Reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. Thank you very much. Eight, Higgs boson particle. In a 1998 episode, Homer Simpson writes an equation on a blackboard that closely approximates the mass of the Higgs boson particle, discovered 14 years later. Nine, smart watches. A 1995 episode depicted a watch that could make phone calls, predating the release of modern smart watches by nearly two decades. All right, bro. Oh, blast. Go to plan B. 10. Donald Trump Incident During a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Donald Trump was quickly escorted off stage after a disturbance. Social media users claim The Simpsons predicted this in a 2015 episode titled Bart to the Future, where a sign reads, Trump 2024. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Behind him. I'm not supposed to stare at him directly, but I can't help it. When I touch it, will it heal my baldness? Running. No! No!